a bride-to-be has been praised for her firm stance against her mother-in-law's wish to have a standout mother-son dance at her wedding. She took to Reddit to vent, saying, My fiancé and I are due to get married in September 2026, from the moment we got engaged his mother has insisted that she will be having a choreographed dance with him at our wedding. His mum is a self-proclaimed main character and has even joked that she should be allowed to wear white as she is the mother of the groom. According to the bride, although her mother-in-law generously offers financial help for kids' weddings, this comes with expectations for control. The woman said, I don't want this to be an issue that the day is then planned significantly around her ideas of the perfect wedding and not ours as there has been previous comments about how she doesn't like the color scheme and how she thinks my engagement ring is tacky. I have therefore said thank you for her kindness but that we will be funding the main chunk of the wedding ourselves as we have saved for it. The bride-to-be has decided to forego the traditional father-daughter dance at her wedding, as both her dad and grandfather have passed away. She and her mum felt it would be awkward to replace it with a mother-daughter dance. However, her mother-in-law suggested they should have a mother-son dance instead. She expressed, I have stated my concerns about a mother-slash-son dance as it would highlight more the fact that there is no traditional father-slash-daughter dance and that I just don't feel comfortable with it. His mother has blown up saying I will be ruining the day for the whole family by not allowing it and has stated that she will be pulling everyone off the dance floor for this dance regardless. I have therefore now told her if that is the case she will be escorted from the venue before the dance begins. He doesn't want a first dance never mind a choreographed dance. He laughed the first time it was mentioned about the mother slash son dance and said not a chance but she was insisting on it. Adding to the tension, her mother-in-law has invited 60 of her own guests to the wedding, claiming they have to come because they're extended family. The bride added, I will also add that my fiancé wanted a destination wedding with a small number of guests, which I was quite happy to do as it would be very personal to us. Responding to her dilemma, one person advised, I'd tell mother-in-law to get stuffed and plan your destination wedding that you both want. You don't need to cater to her on your and your fiancé's wedding day. Another said, you two should either elope or go with the destination wedding you want. Changing all your plans because your mother-in-law wants to invite 60 people is foolish. Stop letting her steamroll you, do what you want to do, it's your wedding.